Hi, I'm George Hadley. And I'm Ben Laskowski. And this week on Purdue Study Break, we're going to build bipolar, bipolar power, power supplies. supplies. Ding! A bipolar power supply is very interesting because it outputs a positive and negative of the same magnitude of voltage at the same time, which is ideal for experimenting with analog circuitry such as amplifiers or op amps. So you can do a lot of things with op amps. To build this project, you will need wire. Anything from 18 to 22 gauge should be fine. A power strip or extension cord, or anything else with a grounded plug should be okay. A 16 volt center tap transformer, you should be able to find it online for 10 bucks or so. A power switch, toggle sliding or rocker switches all work just fine, just make sure they're rated for at least 2 amps. A fuse and fuse holder, make sure it's rated for an amp or more. Resistors, a 1 kilo ohm and a pair of 4.7 kilo ohm. A quarter of a watt is fine. Two capacitors, rated for 4700 microfarads and 25 volts. Ideally, these will have low electrostatic resistance, or ESR. A power indicator LED, four diodes rated for 16 volts or higher. A bridge rectifier chip can also be used in its place. And finally, a set of three binding posts. Things that are nice to have but not completely necessary would include some prototyping or project board, and something that you can use as casing, whether it be a project case for Radio Shack, or a piece of Tupperware. Either way, it should be pretty easy to find and pretty cheap. Mm. How does it work? Our basic model for our power supply is going to be a fuse and a switch hooked to a line from the wall, which we will then hook to a transformer for our primary circuit. Our secondary circuit will consist of a bridge rectifier and a series of filter capacitors to help smooth out the DC voltage pulsations. We will also add resistors in parallel with the large filter capacitors to help drain them of energy when you switch the power supply off so no one gets an accidental shock. And for good measure, we'll add a power on off LED so we know when it's actually on. A transformer is a device that joins two circuits, a primary circuit and a secondary circuit. Current flowing through the primary circuit coil induces a voltage in the secondary coil, therefore joining the two circuits. The Voltage is scaled by a number proportional to the number of turns between the two coils. A bridge rectifier is a device composed of four diodes that's used to separate the positive and negative components of an AC voltage. Sometimes the four diodes are contained in one package, you might find those somewhere, and that would be more convenient to work with, but we only had four small diodes, so we used the four individual ones. Finally, you may be wondering what those gigantic capacitors are for. Filter capacitors are used to help smooth out pulsations in DC rectified voltage. Without the capacitors on the output, the DC output would actually be just one half of the AC sinusoid pulsing at 120 Hz because it has both the positive and negative components mirrored to be only positive or only negative. Alright, now let's build the thing. To start off, I pull out my trusty Dremel tool and cut holes in the casing for the extension cord, binding posts, and switch. Be sure to also drill holes for screws to mount your transformer, as well as a hole for your LED power indicator. Then insert your parts and add the appropriate mounting hardware. Next, take your wire cutters and void the warranty on your power strip. Now use a knife and peel back the outer insulation of your cord, leaving you with three wires. Assuming this cord is wired properly, the black wire is the hot wire, so it actually contains or carries the voltage from the wall outlet. The white wire is neutral which at the service panel in this building, assuming it's wired correctly, should be tied to the green wire, which goes to a protective earth ground. Doing here, we're going to put a relatively thick layer of electrical tape around the insulation of this wire, and I'll show you why in just a minute. I'm narrating this as if they're going to watch it. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. It's so that if you mistakenly pick up the power supply by the input cord, which is usually a bad thing to do, but it happens accidentally anyway, the tape will ideally absorb the force of the whole thing suddenly being picked up by the cord and nothing will come unsoldered inside, which is pretty hard to fix, relatively speaking. So next we're doing soldering, and remember, soldering is very hot, so make sure that you 
are working with an adult like your mommy or daddy. Uh, and just be careful, be smart, you know you can do it. Once you've stripped away some of the insulation from your inner wires, you're ready to start soldering. Solder your fuse holder and switch in line with your hot wire. Now take this and your neutral wire and solder those to the two contacts on the primary side of your transformer. Then you're going to want to solder the protective earth ground wire to the center contact of your secondary circuit on your transformer. With the primary circuit done, it's time to move on to the secondary circuit. Arrange your four diodes in a bridge rectifier configuration like the one shown. Then solder those together and add the filter capacitors on the two plus and minus 12 volt lines. Finally, add your resistors. This is very important because otherwise the capacitors will store charge after your first test. And at long last, add in your LED, which is hooked to a resistor, and you're done. And now, the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Thank you. I'm gonna switch it on. There's no magic smoke. That is a good thing. Let's probe the ground line. Now, on the positive rail, we have 13.51 volts. And on the negative rail, we have. That's over here, of course. Negative 13.48 volts. I'd say this works. So now it's just a matter of insulating the contacts and sealing the thing up. Da ding We had a lot of fun building this project. Yes, we did. But we'd like to see what you can do. So, go out there, make yourself a bipolar power supply, and if you do it, send us pictures over email at here. This one. Yes. Ding! And his. Which is... Yo Ding! mama. <laughs> <clears throat> also feel free to subscribe or comment on the video below. That one. Until next time, peace. Or feel free. Call George ass. <laughs> no. <laughs> that away. Four one nine. <laughs> Stop that. A transformer is a device which Optimus Prime. <laughs> <laughs>